All right, so here, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how uh, you can join me for a retreat to India on an Ayurveda uh, journey that I'm going to be on. So there it is, India Ayurveda retreat. I am so excited about that. So uh, this is where it's going to be. It's in Kerala and December 4 to 13. And uh, like you can see, the itinerary is going to be uh, starting from the south and we'll go up like that and then we'll go to the ocean and uh, a little bit roundabout and then there. So about uh, nine days for this. So I hope you are going to stick around with me and um, see what we have to offer. So next uh, so health coaching and yeah so it, it will involve health coaching and it will involve meditation and yoga and even tigers so why an ayurveda retreat you may ask is so important that uh, you uh, should take time off or you should um, spend the money on it uh, so i will tell you what is Ayurveda really in short? Ayurveda is really just the documentation of uh, uh, how a body, a human body can heal itself. Uh, and it's been done over 5,000 years. And most of the Ayurvedic treatments rely on uh, a healthy digestion as the foundation of deep wellness. So that creates the digestive fire, which means you are able to digest your food as well as release the toxins and they do not stay in your body. And they cre it then creates an environment of healing inside our body as opposed to a congested food that creates an acidic environment in the body and uh, a damp environment, um, which then makes it easy for, um, you know, fungus and parasites and uh, unhealthy microbes to grow. So sorry if you were hearing the noise because I'm sitting outside. It's Ayurveda, talking about Ayurveda, I'm going to be out in nature. So uh, keeping a digestive, a healthy digestion is important uh, so that you do not manifest disease. Or if you have some disease, then improving the digestion will actually get you out of the disease condition, including some very severe chronic conditions and people have reversed like my clients they come to me for weight and diabetes and though i'm not an ayurvedic practitioner but i have learned and i have benefited from ayurvedic um, treatments myself i am a holistic health coach and uh, my phd is in biochemistry so i understand a little bit about how the body works so uh, very briefly, I wanted to tell you what has been my journey to regain health. And that has gone from being, you know, only looking at science and literally being married or following science like a religion and working at Monsanto uh, as a scientist to uh, working in hospitals, health regulatory agencies, other corporations, and then experiencing all the health problems from ulcers to migraines to infections, surgeries, antibiotics, medications, diabetes, overweight as well. And then the only way I could heal myself was when I went uh, to, to an Ayurvedic practitioner. Uh, so then I certified myself as a health coach. And now I have clients that are reversing their weight and diabetes, like I reversed mine. Uh, and they're also finding contentment and energy, like I have found mine. And I'm also a community organic gardener. So you know, that's a little bit about me. Um, and here is one of my clients, uh, Madiha. She has uh, sent a video. It's on my Facebook page. Uh, she, uh, When she worked with me uh, for four months, one-on-one, -on -one, and in some of my group programs, she came to me for um, re reducing excess weight. But as a side effect, she also reversed her sciatica pain. And she's thriving. She's got energy. So she was super excited. And she 
then sent me a testimonial. Uh, then here is what I've done with a school in India that um, has started an organic garden. So about 150 students are gardening over there. And as you can see, they're also uh, learning a lot uh, they've, uh, about medicinal plants. So um, there's a lot to unpack, but I would love to take you on a retreat and teach you so many things that you will find insightful for your own health. Uh, like I did a retreat last year in the organic India farms in India and um, people loved it. Uh, there's a, uh, three videos about that on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so what will be your advantage of using Ayurveda or being on the retreat? It'll be that you will experience how easy it is to recover with rest and with food combinations that um, you may not be able to try over here uh, unless you've experienced it because one, you may not even be motivated to try it. And uh, it's it's just a different environment when you actually go and you see and you get, uh, maybe you will have time to uh, consult an Ayurvedic doctor over there who will do some pulse reading and give you your body type, your specific body type, uh, it'll give you more insights. And uh, the forest bathing, uh, there's a method for that. Not So one is you go into the forest and of course you'll experience the benefits, but uh, there is a method to experience more benefits by, uh, you know, it's a Japanese method. So I'm going to take you for that as well. And uh, then you'll get some treatments with actual medicinal herbs that are hard to find over here. Some people go to Kerala at least once a year and they spend two weeks over there to kind of just overhaul their body, remove all the toxins and then come back. It's better than spending the money on medicines over here and expensive treatments. It all adds up. We don't realize but it really does add up uh, when we mm, start buying medications and powders and supplements and going for all kinds of treatments over here, uh, as opposed to go once a year, treat yourself, clean your body out, and uh, then you're done for the whole year. Uh, so that is what you will get. And you will come back transformed with 5,000 years of wisdom. And you will understand what is intuitive eating and how you can actually use your own intuition to uh, decide what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, when to start, when to stop. So how do you develop your intuition unless you take the time and prioritize to um, and understand it through uh, understanding your own body type? So that's the whole idea. And uh, if you come on the retreat with me, you also get a whole package deal, which is included uh, in the packages that you will learn some, you'll get some live cooking classes uh, for free, Ayurvedic cooking classes, and you will get my coaching before, during, and after. So you can sign up for the package and get everything for free, uh, or you can just sign up for the four weeks of cooking class. So uh, when I post my uh, link, so this is the link. Uh, I will post the link to this website and you will get all the links over there. And so you will also find out the bonus details of how to cook nourishing, delicious, wholesome meals that support constant energy without complicated recipes. So that's the idea. Okay, so let's go to the next. So what is the itinerary looking like? Hey, day one to three, we will start from Kovalam Beach. So we will land in Trivandrum. And um, so airport transfer and breakfast is all included in this, uh, but there will be additional charges for um, you know, other sessions that you want to book or getting an Ayurvedic doctor sessions. And seriously, they're not super expensive. So it's uh, pretty nice and we'll spend the day uh, so with some sightseeing activities. So uh, these are actually pictures from the Ayurvedic resorts that we have booked. Uh, and the food, oh my God, the food is amazing that you will get the traditional food. So three days you will spend over there and get some Ayurvedic treatment. Then uh, day four is in a luxury houseboat. So this is pictures from inside the houseboat. Uh, and the food you will get, you will even get to 
eat from a banana leaf and this is one of the rooms on the boat uh, so it's on the backwaters uh, this is the arabian sea uh, so there it's december you probably don't need air conditioning but if you need air conditioning you can uh, always pay a little bit more for that um and uh, yeah then we'll go to day five uh Tekiri or periyar uh tiger reserve which will have um, you know a cultural program uh, as well as waterfalls you'll see some wild elephants you may be lucky to see tigers as well uh, and uh, go on some night safaris and of course eating food from earthen pots so uh, i was explaining to the group yesterday that uh, my husband loves the beaches and all he wanted to do was go to the beaches but um, i have been on a wildlife trip with my father who was a wildlife biologist I've, I've been to a forest with him where we chased a tiger so i learned that tiger and elephant are both scared of each other so we actually sat on the elephant back and we chased a tiger and that was quite an experience because the tiger uh, ran from one elephant to another trying to uh, see if it could escape. But when it couldn't, then it roared and literally you could feel the whole forest vibrating. And then all the animals and the birds even chirping and all kinds of sounds, you know, because there's so many animals uh, from langurs to chimpanzees to deer and uh, hyenas. So every, when the lion or the tiger roars, everyone's scared. So uh, it was quite an experience for me. And um, so I convinced my husband to um, make sure that we do go to the forest. And this is uh, very well uh, orchestrated over there. So then day six and seven is to Munnar, which is uh, a hill station over there. Uh, so you go to tea and spice plantations, as you can see over here. And um, we stay over there. Uh, and this is one of the room over there and the traditional food. So yeah, you will come back completely transformed. You know, look at the mist on top of the tea plantations and you'll see people working over there in the tea plantations. It is quite an experience. Uh, and then day eight and 10, we will spend on the beach. So that is the beach. Um, as you can see, that's the resort that we are on. You even get to eat food uh, sitting on the beach side. And of course, the dosa. So you will understand that dosa is a fermented food and it is very healthy very healing for the digestive system and the way dosa is prepared in south india you won't get anywhere else because that is where the food food originated i do make my own dosa but nothing like this and uh, then there is also a jewish market in cochin that we will go to and uh, what we've learned is that uh, this Jewish market was started by the Jews, of course, but um, right now they only they have just the last two of the Jews left who do not have any children. So they have transferred it to Muslims, which is so against what we hear in the world that the Muslims and Jews are fighting with each other, but not here. They're living harmoniously because the Jews are transferring their businesses to Muslims and Muslims are making sure that the business continues to run like it used to run for the Jews. And uh, there's a synagogue that the Muslims are taking care of and they will not allow anybody uh, with disrespecting it. So it is such an important point to make to see how people live peacefully in you know these small little areas where we never hear of and all we hear is um, you know scary messages. So you will definitely experience this and come back totally transformed. So if you want to uh, know more, uh, you can write me an email on my nourished kitchen table at gmail.com uh, or go to my website sourceparenthealth.com. Uh, on Facebook, of course, you can type my name and on LinkedIn as well. On YouTube, I'm as Smile Club 1405. So that is that. And then I will show you uh, what I have as uh, this is the website that. Uh, when you open the website, you will see this. Um, so 
yeah, I've really just put it all together over here where you can sign up. Um, you can just sign up for the cooking package or uh, so this is what you get. Uh, you get four prep calls. Uh, you get live group coaching and then you travel. And this is the prices that um, you see. So uh, the prices I will just explain. So early bird runs until August 31st, uh, which is uh, $2,800. And this is per person pricing in a double occupancy room. And it includes premium room, double occupancy, breakfast, ground transportation, health coaching before and during the retreat and even after. Uh, so uh, this is an early bird price. And if you compare it to any other retreat, uh, which I did not find anything similar to this, nothing is less than 5,000 to 7,000 US dollars. And it doesn't really include any coaching in it. So um, I've really priced it in a way that uh, is comfortable for everybody. And the reason I am going on this retreat myself is because I did not want to pay 7,000 US dollars. So I created my own. I worked with a travel agent who I know very well. And then I said, okay, why not get other people to join me? Because people have been asking me. So that is the per person pricing in a double occupancy room, 2800 which is a steal. Uh, or if you just want the room to yourself, then until August 31st, you can get it for $4,000, which is also pretty good, right? Um, considering that it's Canadian dollars, we're not even talking US dollars. And the same thing, single premium room. Now, if it's between September 1st and 30th, so September 30th would be the last date to register because we cannot guarantee rooms, December being a very, very busy month and prices go up drastically. So um, I've asked the agent to hold on to some rooms, uh, but they can only do it till August 30th. But um, after that, uh, so we had to increase the price. So per person pricing in a double occupancy room booked from September 1st to 30th would be $4,300 per person. And the same things, you still get the coaching and breakfast and, and it, these are all premium rooms. But uh, if you still want per person pricing and you're booking between September 1st and 30th, then you're going to have to pay another $1,000. So that becomes $5,000. So I hope this clarifies things for you and um, that you are going to prioritize building consistency for energizing habits. Because when I work with clients, uh, they tell me that I like what I did. So like we did an energy morning energy mastery program. Uh, they said, but how do I make sure I do it every day? So consistency is a huge problem uh, and like we know, you know, you, you know, if you ask any athlete, say at the Olympic level or any any little higher level, nobody can do it without a coach. So if you're facing problems with your health and the only remedy you have so far is a medication, but it's not going anywhere and you are experiencing side effects, then I would highly recommend that you at least book a call because uh, there's no point in continuing being unhealthy, adding excess weight, not having energy, because as you age, you are going to face a lot of physical problems which will make you dependent on others. And that's why it's so important to prioritize detoxification, getting rid of any, um, you know, things that are stagnating. So the excess weight is really just showing you that there are toxins stagnating in your body, which the regular medications cannot get out. We know that because if that was the case, then... Uh, today, the weight loss industry wouldn't be $200 billion and growing at an 8% growth rate with the amount of medications we already have. Um, it's ridiculous that people still fall for all these uh, quick fixes like get a surgery, get this medication, get this quick treatment. It doesn't work like that. So even with the Ayurveda retreat, I understand you cannot just go for 10 days and uh, then come back to living the way you were living. You will need some coaching before, during, and after so that you build the consistency and it becomes part of how you live your life. So that's why I'm adding the coaching package. It's not just a sightseeing um, retreat. You are actually going to come back 
healthy and remain healthy. And I'm promising that I'm not going to leave you until you make progress so like some people say i just fall back into what i've been doing even though it's not serving me or i wish i had some form of accountability to get my morning routine done easily okay so no more struggling with energy or for energy let's go to god's own country which is what kerala is called and experience ancient healing hands and eat fresh seasonal ingredients so india can grow food the entire year so the different foods that are grown at different times of the year and you will you will taste the difference so uh, i would love to bring you on this oh yeah the flavors of india that you see uh, mouth-watering appetizers they're nourishing meals and fresh coconut so uh, you know it's not the same as getting that coconut here uh, because that coconut has been taken off the tree like a day before or the same day. It's it's a huge difference. So experience that and your taste buds will thank you. You know, you'll you'll get more than just plain rice and healing spices, desserts that love you back. Um, you will have a great time and being part of the group and the yoga and meditation that we'll do. So the yoga that we normally get to experience here uh, is not what yoga was supposed to be. It's not so healing. It's just a workout. So go and experience yoga in a real uh, yogi manner and uh, bring back some of those practices so you can do it over here every day so some of my clients have said this to me i would love to go on a retreat with you to india because with you i will feel safe and cared for and uh, then someone said this is incredible a package to go to visit india and the back and beyond plus get health coaching uh, from you even before we start the journey i was always worried about tummy troubles on such a long trip so thank you for organizing this and then another uh, client said uh, with sars coaching it all becomes doable simple and full of laughter the only person i would trust my child to be coached by yes that's also coming from a client so let's sign up for the package or just for the cooking club uh, so you can become consistent and confident cooking for your entire family's nourishment without dieting and complex recipes and just like me and my clients learn my method of intuitive cooking that incorporates energizing practices from ayurveda for easy toxin removal and uh, you will learn how you can easily switch to ayurvedic healing recipes without dieting and enjoy the flavor and everyone in the family will start enjoying it as well that's what I coach people for and uh, you will just stop adding excess weight you know it'll become a no-brainer uh, so I hope to see you soon uh, sign up for the packet sign up to do a cooking class with me uh, whatever works so mm, look forward to seeing you all soon uh, either as a booked call with me or one of the packages or send me a message. So thank you for listening. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you for that. Bye-bye.